or negative 18 to 20 degrees centigrade. And uh, yeah, if you want to take pictures, um, this is how we stored the rare, threatened, and, and endangered species from the state. We, um, since we, we've had a, a developed con seed conservation program for such a long time, the populations that are being impacted by a development project of any kind, whether it's government or private, um, we've developed a program where uh, the impacted plant population, if it's a rare species, gets a backup seed collection sent to us. So that way, if any the mitigation for that project does not is not successful, we have not lost the genes or the genetic material from that population. That's what these collections serve as uh, permanent collections of the genetic diversity that's represented out in the wild. So that under, under extreme conditions, if we lose a population out in nature, we actually have something to fall back on. And, and those are represented um, in these little foil packets right here. You can actually capture the genetic diversity of a population in a little packet like this. And so it's a very efficient way and a relatively inexpensive way to uh, <coughs> prevent extinction of a species or a population of a species. So because of that, it's become an effective management tool for uh, conservation. Just one part of the whole picture, obviously, because we don't want all of our populations in a freezer. We want them out in the wild. 